My name is Jarvis Cassidy, and today I'll be presenting you with an organ made and known by Agargus discourse, commonly known as the portobello mushroom. As you can see, the cap of the pillars is about 3 to 16 centimeters wide, usually white or brown in color. The gills are free from the stalk and pinkish in color in early stage and blackish after maturity. The stalk or stipe grows about two to eight centimeters long and one to three centimeters thick. The stalk is very sturdy, usually white in color, but may turn brown by staining. This mushroom, unlike others, are very edible. The Agargus disporus is native to Europe and North America. Uh, it can be found in other countries, such as Japan. In order for the mushroom mycelium to grow, the temperatures must be around 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Ample ventilation must be provided uh, to reduce the CO2 levels. Humidity in their natural habitat is normally around 85 to 90 percent. And these conditions enable uh, the fruiting. The Agargus disporus belongs to the domain Eukarya, kingdom of fungi. Phylum is Basidiomycota, class is Agargos, mycetes, order Agargos, family. Agargus C, genus Agargus, and this species, of course, is the Agargus disporus. Here I present to you the Paleolithic tree of the Agargus disporus. Here you see the life cycle of the Agargus disporus. You see, first, starts with the termination of basidiospores, and then it goes to the mate. Now the agargus bisporus does reproduce sexually, but does not need a mate. The spores that the mushroom produce already contain the nuclei. The agargus bisporus is a secondary decomposer, which means that the bacteria and other fungi must break down raw material before the mushroom can grow. Because these mushrooms are heterotrophic, meaning they can't make their own food, the fruit bodies must obtain their nutrients from compost. Now you may find these delicious mushrooms uh, commonly placed on salads, pizza, they are even spaghetti. These mushrooms have a substantial amount of vitamin D. And vitamin D is very good for your health. You can also find in these mushrooms potassium and sodium, which your body needs to regulate water. That's all the information I have. Thank you for watching. This ends my presentation.